Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about in painting. So we are using a new node named Flux Control Net in painting. So what does in painting control net do? It helps you fill the part and change the part of an image. It's like fixing or adding things to your picture without starting over. If there is something missing, or you just want to change something, this node helps by in painting those areas to make them look natural. As you can see, there is a basket end. We mask the area and give the prompt flux. They have added on that part flux. How good they blend this. It looks natural. And in another showcase image, you can see the cap. We have masked that cap and look at this, how smoothly they blend the flux. It looks natural, same with hair. There is an AC, look, it changed the AC. We have masked that AC and it changed it to the test. So this model is better than SDXL as we are using. Pass this control net node is 0.9 and we are going to use 0.9 and check what will be the result. Now from here download control net in paint file. So how to install this? First, you have to copy the command and open your control net folder and type at the top bar command and paste it here command paste. Once this, go to the in painting folder, flux, and type command. Make sure pip install diffuser's 0.3.0.2 version is installed in your configured Python library. Here is the workflow I created specifically for in painting this node flux model. I have split it into four groups to keep things simple. So here is the first group, we have added Florence, which automatically detects what we want to mask. Like there is an image of the sun, we have to mask the sun. They automatically did this. In the second group, there is the section of manually adding a mask. You have to false it, change it to false, and load the image here if you want to mask manually. In the SAM2 model, they have added a mask which we have detected here. Select the place, here you can see the grow mask with blur. You can add 3 or 4, I will add 4. Then we have connected all this in control net, which we have downloaded the latest node, where we have seen the strength. It must be 0 0.94. This workflow now you have downloaded. I have downloaded the in painting flux model file. You have to select it here. Now here is the prompt section, you can add here. And add here what you want to prompt. So now test this workflow. Let's upload our image. First, we have tried Florence for masking. I have selected a wolf. You have to add, seeing this, yeah, it will. Wolf. So as you see, it automatically adds a mask on the wolf and selects the wolf. I have not added any prompt here, so I have to first add a tie hiker. In the grow mask with blur, this node extends the mask by 4 and makes it blur, so everything will be smooth. So the AI will get more details to make it work. So what it did is it converted the wolf into a boy. So as you can see there, this one is my old prompt added, so I forgot to change the prompt. So let's try, let's change this, change it to an image of a black dragon, a little black dragon running through the snow mixed with brown and black. We want it running through the snow, and the background is blurred and gives focus to the black dragon. Let's see what it will look like. It converted into a dragon, but it doesn't look like the dragon we want for our work. So let's check, here is the woman in which I have added a dress in the prompt of wearing, a blue and white striped sleeve dress. Let's test. For this workflow, the image must be 768 by 768 pixels. As you can see, here, it outpointed upside or at the top of the image and at the bottom of the image to better work. First, convert images to 768 by 768 pixels. 
Look how good it works if we use a 768 by 768 image. So now how to do it manually. First, upload the images and make it false, switch image and switch mask, and select the mask you want to, in paint, like I haven't painted this. Add the prompt. Remove headphone the headphone is finally removed from the table. This is how you can use this workflow. I have added some changes in this workflow to make, manually select and automatically select and make sure the image is 768 by 768 pixels. This is not the best in painting workflow. As per my view, we don't have the limitation of 768 pixels for images, but I will share it with you soon, and one that works better than this. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. That's all for today.